seems to take forever, doesn't it? It's not exactly the Orient Express. Oh, you're American. Tourist? No, I work here. Oh. At the embassy. Oh. It's nothing grand or diplomatic. I'm just a stenographer. But it's fun being in England. Yes, it's a funny old place. But we like it. Where are you going now, then? I'll spend the weekend with some friends at Salford. Salford? That's the station just beyond mine. Have you been there before? No, they've just moved in. It's a pretty little village. You'll like it. Your friends are meeting you. Yes. That's good. Sensible. I only live half a minute from the station, but my husband's meeting me. After all, one never knows, does one? And they haven't caught him yet. There's a bit about it in today's paper. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Rape, my dear. Three girls have been assaulted on this line in as many months. One he nearly killed. That's why I hate that bizarre. Still, if you're being pet, there's nothing to worry about. Rape? They'll catch him sooner or later. They've got a description at last, you see. They're looking for a man with short blonde hair. I know it's not much, but the police are so clever still. Nevertheless, I insist on being met. Although I suppose if it happened to me at my age, I could take it as a compliment. That's my stop. It's been nice talking to you, my dear. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Goodbye.
Hello, Charles here. Oh, yes, Mr. Holt. What? Yes, I see. Be over right away. Complications. I saw him as, as clear as I'm seeing you now, the same man. But you didn't mention it to Mrs. Holt here. There's a pub across the way. I'll stand your scotch. Oh, oh, thank you, Inspector, but I think I should pursue my inquiries with all possible speed. I should change. Most of the private fellows I know are always keen to stretch the case out, pushing up the expenses. Yes, but I have a small vested interest. Oh? Yes, very small. About that high. Blonde. She lives in Munich. <laughs> I see. I thought it best to check those out first. Make sure your man wasn't amongst them. Yes, but I didn't think he would be. Huh? All those poor fellows. All recent. Thank you. I'm not saying he didn't drop out of circulation much later. He had perhaps 50 pounds, English pounds, with him. And no knowledge of the language. No, whatever happened, happened soon after he arrived in this country. Of that I'm sure. Oh, nobody can be sure of anything. <laughs> not in this oh, you're right, of course. I am not sure of anything, but I am fairly sure. Where will you start? I thought perhaps uh, the railway station. Need a man along? Oh, no, thank you. A car, then. I could probably swing a patrol car and drop you up there. <laughs> Inspector, you are very kind, but I'd prefer to make my own way. Oh, suit yourself. I was just thinking you might like to get it over quickly and get back to that little blonde wife of yours in Munich. Inspector, my wife lives in Hamburg. 